100 jams where hit music lives. Prince 1 in the mix right there with Catch 22. Right about now, the time is chat trap time. Let you know what's happening in the media, all your hot topics. So I know a lot of persons have already been fully vaccinated. However, a lot of us who aren't are still second guessing it, despite the many ways they are trying to encourage us globally. And just recently, it was announced that allegedly Pfizer and Moderna, which also was stated to cause blood clots, now is causing heart inflammation in young men. So a higher than expected number of young men have experienced heart inflammation after their second dose of Pfizer and Moderna. But the CDC shared that some patients required hospitalization, but most have fully recovered from their symptoms. Boy, oh boy, it seems as though there's a lot of side effects from these COVID-19 vaccines. However, some persons haven't experienced anything, while a lot of persons probably have. So I guess to each his own, it's still up to you. Definitely the option is still there for now. Moving on to further news, Lil Durk have been dealing with so much recently. Although his music career has taken off again in a big way, his close friend, King Vaughn, as you know, had passed away. And now his brother recently passed away. And just recently now, a woman is accusing Lil Durk of being the father of a seven-year-old son. And I'm just saying, either way, if he truly is the father of her child, why now? I know we know time is a good time or, you know, but I'm just saying his brother just passed away and maybe she's probably not thinking about that, seeing that she did say that he's doing nothing for the child. He isn't helping her raise him in any kind of way financially, nothing. So I guess the passing of her, um, his brother didn't really matter to her. She just came out and said it on her own time and... Maybe, I don't know if it's true or not, because, you know, a lot of these things are kind of like clout chasing, so who really knows what's happening? Maybe he might be, maybe he might not be. But I'm just saying, why do people really go ahead and take things to social media? And maybe she just probably wants to embarrass him because the child is seven, and it's a very long time to not be in a child's life. But you could just take it to court, get the DNA test, and call it a day. You don't always have to take things to social media. You can do things in private unless she wants it to be known that, hey, I am the mother of, you know, Lil Dirk's child. So that's just my take on it. Stop taking things to social media. But going ahead on to further news, it seems as though the young women today are showing love in a, I wouldn't say a new way, but... I just thought we was done with the whole tattooing of guy's name on us. I just thought it was over with, and I just really didn't think the time would have come back. But it seems as though tattooing a significant other name on you, whether it's just a boyfriend, and I really definitely don't agree with that. If it's your husband, maybe. And if it don't work out, get it removed. But your boyfriend name, your tattoo on you, that's just a bit um, out of hand. Maybe get matching tattoos, but just not the name. But so another um, artist, I think, yeah, she's an upcoming artist. And her name is Honey Milan, and it seems as though that her and Skilly Bang allegedly have been dating. At least that's how she's making it seem right now, because she just tattooed Skilly Bang's name on her forehead. So a lot of persons are saying that maybe it's possibly just for, you know, publicity stun. It's just some clout that she's trying to get, you know, seeing that she is releasing music as well because you did do a collaboration with skilly bang their single is called chapa gal if you haven't checked it out be sure to do so you then you'll know who honey milan is but i'm just saying stop with the tattooing of man's name if it's not your husband at least i mean i wouldn't even talk to my husband name but i'm i'm just saying to each his own but if it's your boyfriend uh get matching tattoos if you want to make something sweet but that's it for chat trap just letting you know what's happening in the media jumping back into the mix right now all your favorite hits conscience and spice my favorite single pay for it Thank you. 